Many folks don't know the story of Premier. Premier Heating and Air was founded in 2001 with just a small group of people. Initially, Premier's handful of people went to work with a core value and set of principles based on a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. With one move in 2005 and then a leap of faith in 2010, Premier is now in its current location and now one of the largest heating and air companies in middle Georgia. Still, every day our people walk through our warehouse doors and into the doors of your home with the same core value. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Call Premier Heating and Air today and get your AC system checkup for just $49. Need a new system? Get up to $2,000 on qualified systems. Log on to Dublin.PremierIsHere.com. The choice is clear. Choose Premier. Premier Heating and Air, a locally owned and operated company. Okay, I have with me now Darla Brown. Darla, you are the front runner. We're going to have a runoff. But you, uh, you worked hard in this race, didn't you? I did work <laughs> very hard. Yes, yeah. I did. We talked early on in the election, and you was all ready. You know, you had your nose to the ground, you was running hard, and who would you like to thank tonight? Oh, I want to thank all of the voters for going out and voting. Um, without the voters, this is not even possible. I thank you for each vote, and I'll be ready to get back to work yeah. tomorrow. You know, the hardest thing to me is, in these elections, waiting six months to take office. So if you do win in the runoff, uh, what will you do these next six months to prepare for taking the job? I'll learn as much as I possibly can about what it takes to become a tax commissioner. I've already made contacts around the state with other tax commissioners to learn as much as I can. And you was the only candidate that I know of. You actually shattered a tax commissioner uh, in a surrounding county. You can say it or not, but I know it's in a surrounding county. Yes. So that meant a lot to know what the job does. So because somebody new like you or me running, we don't know about the job. But, that's, but that was important to you, wasn't it? That's correct. Um, I know a lot about finances and transactional things in general, but to actually um, know what goes on in a tax commissioner's office, I mean, you do need to be there to see what's going on. Um, I've taken over multiple jobs for clients and learn how to do the job and then train someone else to do the job. So I have no doubt that I can do that in the tax commissioner's office. But yes, there's going to be a learning process there for me. Well, one thing I've found out about you is I, I see you genuinely love people and you I want do. to work with people. Uh, and that's do. not something you can fake. You, no. you do or you don't. Uh, but uh, you really want to work with the, the, the citizens of this county. Absolutely. We all have to pay taxes, but you know, bad things happen to good people every now and then. But That's you right. want to work with every single citizen, don't you? That's exactly right. And every one of those citizens, no matter what, I will treat them just the same. Um, I actually learned that customer mm -hmm. service back when I was in high school. I worked for a veterinarian up in um, Danville, Georgia. Dr. Gary Hall and I saw him treat every client that he had yeah. come to his office just the same and sometimes people couldn't pay but he made other arrangements for them and so yeah I love people and I want to be able to serve the people of Lawrence County. Now you talk to a lot of people what are, what are the voters what do the citizens say to you that they want uh, out of the tax commissioner's office? Good customer service that's yeah. what they're looking for. Yeah. Uh, and you know that comes with training, so you'll probably come in the door trying to train people uh, for customer service because, uh, you know, some people it comes natural. Mm -hmm. You know, you learn it uh, probably from your mom and dad early on. The veterinarian couldn't have hurt. Right. Uh, so, uh, but go ahead. I think that comes with just a natural love for people. Yeah. So I love people always have, and as long as you're nice to every person that you come in contact with, most of the time they'll reciprocate and be kind back to you, no matter how hard the circumstances are that you're discussing with them. And last thing, uh, there's this guy, uh, he's got about the same amount of hair I do, that worked <laughs> hard. I saw him everywhere. I'm talking about her husband, uh, Bill Brown, but uh, he worked hard, didn't he? 
my husband did work hard. He said that it was um, his turn as I've worked pretty hard for him over the years. And actually, I've got to give um, credit to my father-in-law as well. He's been all over this community putting out signs. The sign campaign has been his. He designed the sign. Um, and the sign actually means something to me. I actually, Tell everybody. It means um, unity. So we all have our different sects of this community that we work in and play in. But um, the sign is representative of Trinity and uh, West Lawrence, East Lawrence, and Dublin. Like, even though we're all in different systems, we're still one community. Yeah. And I hope that everybody will jump on board and let's all work together to make this the best community Amen. we can possibly have. Amen. And you're taking a little step further. Your sign brought all that in, East Lawrence, Dublin, Trinity, and West Lawrence. So uh, a lot of people may have missed that. But uh, you were so inclusive early on in your sign, and, and your dad-in-law did work hard. He did. He worked really hard. He, he's got a good tan, so. <laughs> yes, he does. Well, congratulations, Darla. Thank you so much, Dan. I'm Heath Richter, and uh, we just uh, want to invite everybody to come on down to uh, the Houston Clinic and check us out at our new facility. Uh, we've been in Dublin for a while now, obviously, but uh, have, uh, have a new office here, and we'd just like you to come down and see some of the new stuff we're offering. And uh, if you need to get checked out, we'd be glad to do that for you. We've got to uh, able to do some ultrasound-guided injections now and um, physical therapy and just a little bit better space, so hopefully we can get you in and out of here a little bit quicker. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic, Medical Drive in Dublin.